Several passengers suffered broken bones after their plane encountered severe turbulence. Video shows people injured on the floor of the Aeroflot plane yesterday, shortly before the Boeing 777 landed in Thailand. At least 27 were hurt. The airline confirmed the incident was the result of clear air turbulence, the most difficult type to detect. New research suggests transatlantic turbulence could become up to three times worse in the coming decades. Mark Strassman is at a Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport with those concerns. Mark, good morning. Good morning. For nervous flyers, nothing about this research is reassuring. Clear air turbulence strikes without warning, and because of climate change, could get worse. The sudden drop came without warning. Anyone not strapped down was shot toward the ceiling, then slammed against the aircraft floor. Video of the aftermath shows the plane scattered with debris. Severe turbulence can be terrifying for unsuspecting passengers, as it was in this Boeing 777 bound for Jakarta last year. Unlike conventional turbulence that occurs when planes fly near weather systems, clear air turbulence happens without the presence of clouds, making it nearly impossible for pilots to detect until it's too late. Dr. Paul Williams is an atmospheric scientist at the University of Reading in England. We've calculated that the amount of severe turbulence, which is strong enough to hospitalize people, could double or even as much as treble by the end of this century on transatlantic flight routes because of climate change. According to researchers, rising carbon dioxide levels could destabilize the fast-moving air currents of the transatlantic jet stream, an area that currently sees up to 3,000 flights a day. They predict a 149% spike in severe air turbulence, along with longer travel times, increased delays, and inevitably, higher ticket prices. It's very distressing for pilots, precisely because they have no indication or very little indication that that turbulence is sitting out there and that, and that the plane is just about to hit it. This is about five years old. This Aerospace engineer uh, Pat Anderson took us inside a flight simulator to give us the pilot's perspective. This is light turbulence here. Very manageable. Very manageable. The autopilot could fly the airplane at this point. Okay. Moderate turbulence. So about 50 percent. How much more significant than light turbulence? There's the potential for things to go sideways and slide off your table. It's, it's probably a little uncomfortable at this point. Severe turbulence, how challenging for the pilot? Severe turbulence is, by definition, the pilot is, is challenged in trying to fly the airplane. So now uh, the pilot may be doing things to mitigate that turbulence. One thing would be to get out of it. With extreme turbulence like this, what's going on? Well, I think when you get to the point of saying extreme, you're worried about being in a situation where the airplane is in jeopardy. S severe turbulence is a true test of, of a pilot and his skill and his ability to adapt. It is. So it, it, the pilot, uh, well, there goes the GoPro. Okay. Severe turbulence just causes our GoPro. Modern airliners are designed to withstand all kinds of turbulence, but experts warn that even airplanes have a breaking point. Assuming this, this again, the thesis is right, how nervous will air carriers be about the integrity of their planes? Well, the integrity of the airplanes is something that's going to have to be checked as, as this happens. Airplanes don't have infinite lights. They, they have some limit, and if we see more turbulence, uh, that's going to be drawn in closer. For Americans who fly, turbulence poses the greatest safety risk. Last year, the FAA investigated 44 injuries connected to turbulence. That was up more than double from the year before. Nora? Mark, thanks. I mean, I fly multiple yeah. times a week, and I would say I've noticed it. I've noticed the increase yep. in turbulence. Yep. One of my nightmares right there, flying from L.A. to D.C. the other day, we had what the pilot described as moderate turbulence, but it was really terrifying, and the flight attendant came and said, you know, can I get you anything? I said, yes, a diaper. Yeah. I was really that did afraid. Really? No, I really did say. I mean, people started laughing. It was nervous laughter and because we were all afraid. I know. And that's why you left your hanging bag back. Because yes, you, you wanted to get off my that plane. was on fire. Yeah. I was very, very afraid. Yeah. And the flight attendant said, it's going to get worse because yeah. of the And the you weather. never really know how bad it is. That's right, Charlie. It's scary.